Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Richard Biggins home workout tape. I'm going to teach you how to get a proper workout at home because you know not everybody has time to go to their local gym or enough money for a gym membership and some people have a restraining order from their local gym from walking to the women's locker room one too many times accidentally. So come on in and let's start our workout. All right, folks, we're going to start this workout on the couch where some of you probably start your day, especially if you don't have enough money for a bed or if you just sleep on a futon like some people in this world, am I right? But we're going to do some dips right here off the bat. We're going to hit them tries because this is an upper body business, my friends. We're going to get some get some triceps right here. We're going to work them out. We're going to go one. See, and, and you don't got to go that far down. If you got a low couch, boom, I'm already on the ground. Butt's already up. Boom, on the way down. Boom. See, and I'm even getting a little butt workout, a little glute workout action. Just kind of doing a little bit of bounce. And we can't forget the curls because they're for the girls. Am I right, fellas? And, you know, girls too. Hey, it's progressive. I'm all for girls getting girls because they got big guns. But you know what? You got to find interesting ways to work out those guns. And you can find them anywhere in your own home. Like this right here, this lamp. Boom! Instant curl bar. Instant curl bar, ladies and gentlemen, right here. I hope you can see me. I know we don't have enough light in this studio right now. Right there, we're getting all the curls. And guess what? Normal chair, regular chair. Yeah, you think it's a regular chair until, boom, I start getting the workout of a lifetime. Squat down as much as possible. Now, just because this is a home workout doesn't mean you have to be confined indoors. No, if it's a beautiful cloudy day outside, come on out here. And hey, you may have a broken down washing machine outside that you can start doing step ups with. Make sure you get a good rotation. Once again, keep that fabric off of your thighs so you have no resistance in the leg movements whatsoever. Whew. Now there's multiple pieces of home workout equipment you could buy at department stores, but they're gonna tell you how to use it completely wrong. Like see this right here? It's a pull-up bar that you hang over your door. No, no it's not. That's what the Illuminati wants you to think. No, it's a shoulder press machine right here. And you gotta watch out for that light up here. If you got a low ceiling, you gotta be very careful, especially when you're doing shoulder presses. That's what this is, shoulder presses, not pull-ups, because that's what the Illuminati wants you to think. And don't trust Jay-Z, and Yeezy's last album wasn't that good. Another thing that helps out is doing dishes, believe it or not. See the shoulder workout I'm getting right now? A little bit of splash, a little water therapy as well right now. And at the end of it, I'm gonna have nice clean dishes. Also, too, you can use stairs if you have stairs, if you have a two-story house. But let, no, it's even better if you combine two workouts in one. You get a nice good bounce for the chest exercise. Bounce, up, down, up, down. If the ball drops, don't worry about it. Just keep going. Pretend like you have a ball. Because some of you might not be able to afford a ball. Now, a lot of fancy gyms will have a Stairmaster, but I say instead of being a slave to the Stairmaster, be a master of stairs. Check one, two, one, two. All right. Time for the real workout to begin. Am I right? Oh, yeah. All right there. Take a look. Take a look at that washboard rear end right there. Mm, yeah. That's what Daddy likes. Showing it all off right here. Mm, this is this is why we do everything right here. Mm, oh man. Oh gosh, I'm gonna make so much money on this right here. Mm, uh, uh, right there. Cover that up, brother. Uh, mm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the healthiest man in Chicago, 1997, right there. Healthiest man in Chicago. Fuck you, Scotty Pippen. Mm, mm, mm.